Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for Upper Intermediate to Advanced English Learners. Ready? Let's get started. E2 C1 English Story Jack in London Meet Jack an ordinary bloke navigating the hustle and bustle of busy London life. His alarm blared at an ungodly hour each morning, signalling the start of another long working day. Jack, with his messy brown hair and tired eyes, stumbled out of bed and headed straight for the kitchen. In the dawn sunlight, he made himself a strong cup of tea. This always kick-started his sluggish senses. He was not a morning person. He looked out of the window and groaned. Another drizzly dull day. Why couldn't London be like in the films? Always sunny and beautiful and everyone walking around smiling because they are rich and happy. The daily trek to work was arduous but a necessity if Jack wanted to earn some cash. On the tube he found himself sandwiched between a businessman immersed in his newspaper and a student listening to loud dance music oblivious to the world. The clatter of the train hurt his ears. He thought he would be used to this by now but he wasn't. He looked around the carriage and everyone was deep in thought. Arriving at the office, Jack settled into his routine. He didn't hate his job, but he didn't particularly love it either. It was, in his own words, ordinary. The dim lighting above his head cast a dull glow on his desk. He was working on some mundane spreadsheets, reports and paperwork for his boss. The hum of computers and distant chatter from the kitchen filled the room as colleagues bustled about, trying to look busy. Lunchtime brought a brief escape of numbers and emails. Jack would venture to the local shop and buy a sarnie. He always bought a bag of crisps and orange juice. He knew he could save money if he made his sandwiches, but these always tasted nicer than his own. He wandered to the nearby small park and sat on a bench next to a businesswoman who was eating a very tasty-looking salad and pasta dish out of a Tupperware box. Jack devoured his lunch whilst watching the pigeons begging for crumbs. He took a deep breath and looked up to the grey sky. Even on grey days, London felt special. It had a buzz to it. After he finished his lunch, he wandered back to the office. He had a couple of meetings and then logged off for the day. His return journey home was a replay of the morning routine. The trains clatter, the same familiar faces, and the unspoken understanding that no one wanted to chat and instead enjoy this time to decompress after a busy day. Evenings carried a hint of relief for Jack as he enjoyed the comfort of his flat. It was small but perfectly formed and had everything he needed. He liked to make quick dinners perhaps spaghetti or the simple but very tasty beans on toast. He always had the TV or radio on in the background to give him a sense of company. Weekends offered an escape from his weekday work routine. Jack liked to meet his friends at the local pub. He loved to sit and laugh with his old pals over a few drinks. Sometimes he explored the city. He enjoyed walking through its eclectic streets and enjoying a quiet moment in the local park whilst reading his book. Life in London, for Jack, was not a fairy tale. 
but a lovely collection of ordinary moments. Each day brought its challenges and mundane joys, and he was happy. Now, let's go through some of the vocabulary from this story. These are a mix of upper, intermediate and advanced English words. Let's start with arduous. This means difficult or demanding. The arduous climb up the mountain exhausted the hikers. Blared, to blare, is to make a loud, harsh sound. The sirens blared as the emergency vehicles rushed through the streets. Bloke. You hear British people saying this a lot. A bloke is a man. And we say this informally. For example, the bloke at the pub offered to buy me a drink. Or look at that bloke over there. Bustle or hustle and bustle is a noisy and energetic activity. The city streets were filled with the bustle or the hustle and bustle it can come together of shoppers during the holiday season. Crumbs. Crumbs are small fragments of food, typically bread or cake. For example, she brushed the crumbs off the tablecloth after finishing her snack. To decompress. To decompress is to relax and unwind. You normally do this after a long day or a period of stress or pressure. After a long day at work, I like to decompress by reading. Devoured. To devour means to consume eagerly and quickly. The teenager or the hungry teenager devoured the entire pizza in minutes. Drizzly. Now this happens a lot in England. Drizzly is characterised by light rain. The drizzly weather made for a damp and chilly afternoon. Immersed. Immersed means fully absorbed or involved in something. She was completely immersed in her book and she didn't hear the phone ring. Now, this next one is another very popular British slang word that you will hear a lot. Sarni. And this means sandwich. He packed a cheese and pickle sarni for his lunch. Do you want a sarni? Tupperware. Tupperware is actually the name of a brand, um, but we tend to use this for most plastic storage containers. So I would say, oh, I've got my Tupperware box. So she brought leftovers to work in her Tupperware container. Glow. Glow means to emit a steady light. The fireflies glowed softly in the forest. Dim. Dim means not bright or clear. The dim lighting in the restaurant created a cosy atmosphere. Stumbled or to stumble means to trip or to lose your balance while you're walking or running or doing anything, really. He stumbled over the uneven pavement. Mundane. Mundane means something that's boring or lacking interest or excitement. It's dull. Her job involved many mundane tasks, such as filing paperwork. Begging or to beg is to ask for something earnestly or desperately. For example, the homeless man was begging for spare change on the street corner. Wandered or to wander means to move aimlessly or without a fixed direction. Often you wander if you are quite relaxed or you aren't in a rush. They wandered through the forest, enjoying the peaceful surroundings. Trek. A trek is a long, arduous, which we have just learnt, a long, arduous journey, typically on foot. The trek through the mountains took several days to complete. Relief. Relief is a feeling of reassurance or relaxation following a stressful period or a period of distress or discomfort. She sighed with relief when she finally found her lost keys. 
We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story and the vocabulary explanations. Thank you for stopping by. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Get productive and check out our language learning productivity packs and stories on Etsy. You can find the link in the description box below. Make sure you use code YouTube10 for 10% off. See you soon.